So my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, you need to know that that disease of the heart, anger, it happens to everyone, Muslim and non-Muslim. But the Prophet wasallam, he didn't leave us without an answer to cure this problem, subhanAllah. He gave us ways to deal with anger. Each and every one of us feels this. So what do I do as a Muslim to control myself when I get angry? Number one, the Prophet wasallam, he explained to us to say some simple words. Simple words, subhanAllah. But the problem is at the time of anger, am I able to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and say, A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim This is very hard for some people. Even though when you're hearing this, you say, yeah, that's easy. I should be able to do this. But at the time when you're angry, it is the hardest thing to do, subhanAllah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa he was walking and he saw two men and they were fighting and they were cursing at one another. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, actually the, the, the hadith stated that the men's faces became red and their veins were popping out. That's how angry they were. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I know, I, I know some words. If these men said it, the feeling that they have, this anger that they have inside of them, if they said these words, it would go away. And then he said, if they said, A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim. Very, very, very simple. First, you're seeking help from whom? From Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who created us. And that's what we need whenever we're in any issue, no matter what it is, we need help only from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and putting our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, we're trying to abstain from whom? The evil occurs, shaitan, who wants you to be destructed, who wants to see you fight. So we need to remember these golden words, subhanAllah, and seek refuge with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the evil shaitan. Another advice the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he gave, he said, if any of you become angry, let him stay silent. If any of you become angry, become upset, become, become itchy, stay silent. Why? When any of us become angry, the first thing we do is speak. We don't hit straight away. We say words. Either we try to understand and we lose it and we want to say swear words or we abuse or we curse. The Prophet wasallam said to you, be quiet, stay silent. Because if you can stay silent, you might sit back and reflect. Think about the words. Think about the act. If I say something, it may become worse. The situation may become worse, subhanAllah. So when you're angry, just stay silent, subhanAllah. And the next advice the Prophet wasallam he gave, the Prophet wasallam said, if any of you become angry and he is standing, sit. If you're angry and you're standing, he told us Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to sit. And if your anger still hasn't gone from you, to lie down. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said the strongest man is the one when he gets angry and his face is red and his emotions rise and he's able to, uh, to defeat his anger, SubhanAllah. Now some of you may be thinking, you know, it's not that easy. I want to put you in the place of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam one day. A Bedouin came and the Bedouin are rough and tough. A Bedouin man came and the Prophet ﷺ was wearing a cloak and it had a very thick collar. The man came up to him and grabbed the Prophet ﷺ very tough. He pulled him by the shirt like this, by his cloak. And the Sahaba said we could see the redness on his skin from the marks. That's how hard this man was pushing. And this Bedouin said to the Prophet ﷺ, give me of the wolf that Allah has given you. The Prophet ﷺ hasn't done nothing wrong to this person. So he's coming wanting money. Any of us would have hit this person. Any of us would have smashed this person. We would have cursed him and his family. What do you think the Prophet Muhammad did? He smiled and he said, give him from the wolf. Not the Prophet he was not scared. He had the ability to do whatever. But he had to tame himself and he had to teach us. When we're in such situations, we don't act. We calm down, we think. Use your brain. Many times, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, many times our actions as Muslims turn people off Islam. A man came up to the Prophet wasallam, and you have to understand how the Prophet wasallam worked. If someone came and sought advice, he would deal with that individual with the problem that he had. This man came and he said, Oh, Messenger, uh, Messenger of Allah, advise me. He said, don't become angry. 
He took that advice. He said, Ya Rasulullah, advise me. He said, don't become angry. He said it seven times. And the Prophet Sallallahu kept saying to this man, do not become angry. And this uh, narration is in Bukhari, in Imam Ahmed's uh, Mustad. We find the man saying, I thought about what the Prophet Sallallahu said, and I realized that anger combines all kinds of evil. It hit him in the head after what the Prophet Sallallahu said to him, that this issue that he had of anger could ruin him.